the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defende nos in prerio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatri deus supicesta precamur, tuque princeps militiae celestis, satana maniosque spiritus manignos, quel perdizione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divine virtute in vitrude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we enter into these glorious mysteries, it's a great joy to be able to pray the rosary with you. And I want to share with you a special cause for joy at the end of the rosary today, connected with the readings. But first of all, for the intentions, praying for all of you throughout the world, the intentions kept in the silence and the secret of your heart, for the many of you who've presented those in need of conversion, that the Lord might draw their souls through this rosary to himself, and for all those in need of healing, and for the holy souls in purgatory, including the repose of the soul of Father Huard, who recently passed, for the, uh, for the family of Trevor, I'll just leave it at that without saying further names, the family of Trevor, who are in need of healing, and also for the family of a member of the clergy who asked for our prayers for his family in need of protection and healing and being drawn to our Lord's sacred heart. And as always, we place this rosary in Our Lady's hands that she might distribute the graces to those most in need, known to her, perhaps known to her alone. St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. And due to my sore throat, I'll recite with you rather than sing the Salve Regina. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictione omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of the Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. If you can stay with us a couple more minutes, I want to share with you a special joy connected with the readings today and connected with some wonderful things that have gone on in the last year. And in case you're joining us for the first time today, uh, welcome to this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. You're united with people praying from all over the world. The last time we checked, I think there were 40 some different countries uh, praying with us and praying at every hour of the day, so no matter what hour of the day you might pray this rosary, there are people praying with you. And the readings, as always, are taken from the traditional cycle of readings that was used in the Church for so many centuries and is still used in the traditional Mass today. <clears throat> from the first letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Thessalonians. Brethren, we give thanks to God always for you all, making a remembrance of you in our prayers without ceasing, being mindful of the work of your faith and labor and charity, and of the enduring of the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before God and our Father. Knowing, brethren, beloved of God, your election, for our gospel hath not been unto you in word only, but in power also, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much fullness, as you know what manner of men we have been among you for your sakes. And you became followers of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in much tribulation, with joy in the Holy Ghost, so that you were made a pattern to all that believe in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you was spread abroad the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but also in every place, your faith which is towards God is gone forth so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves relate of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised up from the dead, Jesus who hath delivered us from the wrath to come. From the continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time Jesus spoke to the multitudes this parable. 
the kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which is the least indeed of all seeds. But when it is grown up, it is greater than all herbs, and becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and dwell in the branches thereof. Another parable he spoke to them, The kingdom of heaven is like to leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, until the whole was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke in parables to the multitudes, and without parables he did not speak to them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden from the foundation of the world. We give thanks to God always for you all, making a remembrance of you in our prayers without ceasing. Those words certainly ring true in my own heart, every day praying with you this rosary. And I really want, I want to dedicate this brief sermon today to giving thanks for you all and sharing with you what I hope will be a special joy of some of what you've helped to accomplish through your prayers, through your sacrifices, also through your contributions. And it's a tremendous joy that hopefully one day in heaven, if we all arrive there, we'll be able to see the incredible graces that were poured out through every rosary, being united in the rosary and how Our Lady used your prayers, those of you who are sick, lying in bed, those of you who are children, praying in your living room, uh, wherever you are in the world, how Our Lady took these prayers of the rosary and used them to help so many different people. And I could probably talk for three hours just giving thanks for graces and blessings, but I won't do that. And I said I wanted to focus on just one thing, and that is giving thanks for what you've made possible in my priestly life. Because my whole priesthood, um, the exercise of it right now, is possible because of you all. First of all, through your prayers and sacrifices, but also I'm able to give my time uh, freely at the school and elsewhere because I'm supported entirely by you all in the Rosary Crusade. And so I really want to thank you for that gift and as, as a way of thanking you, give you a glimpse. Again, there are many, many things I could talk about, but I thought perhaps, well, what I think God wants me to share with you today is the grain of mustard seed, something that's very hidden in a priest's life, but that God willing will bear a lot of fruit in time. The devil always wants us, if he can't stop us from trying to do good, he wants us to focus on the things that are more obvious or more worldly successful. So maybe many people came to, if I put on something and many people came to it, or, or something that from the world's perspective looks like more success. Whereas in fact, by far the most important things are the hidden things, or even the things that seem like failures when we're being crucified or persecuted uh, for the sake of doing good. And among the hidden things that bears tremendous fruit is confession. Of course, the priest never talks about uh, anything that anyone said to him in confession afterwards, and the person normally doesn't talk about that either. So it's very hidden just in the eyes of God. And so I wanted to give you a glimpse of what goes on in confession, the tremendous graces. Of course, I'm not going to talk about here at all any particular thing that anyone confessed but to give you a glimpse of those wonderful moments, which in my life you're making possible uh, throughout the year. And, and so I'll take, I'll make up examples, but drawn from real examples from the last 15 years. First of all, when sitting in the confessional and praying, it's, it's a real joy when someone comes in because the, the, the person sometimes is a bit nervous, but what, you, what I sense is the tremendous joy in the heart of Christ. And not because of their sins, but because of what God sees at that moment, which is their humility, their desire to receive His forgiveness, their desire to begin anew, to follow Him. And so it's a real joy hearing the confession. So pray, praying for the person, so I'm, you say the opening of blessing and prayer, and then praying for the person, listening quietly and praying for them as they confess their sins to our Lord. And then pausing a few moments, when I can, I always try to pause a few moments to pray in silence to Our Lady, uh, asking Our Lady to help the person. Because what, what you sense as a priest at that moment is that usually whatever the person is bringing, their, their, their sins and maybe also a glimpse into some of the difficulties in their life, 
it's way beyond usually anything where I could say a couple of sentences that will solve it. You know, I, I don't have the solution that I can't say, oh, just, you know, here it is, just here's the simple solution and this will, your whole life will be just fine. It's really something that needs the grace of our Lord, above all for our conversion, for our growth and holiness. And there are wonderful, joyful moments, what uh, some priests will talk about of the big fish, the, the moment when someone, there's a radical conversion and a conversion that, that stays. You know, those are wonderful moments. If, if any, many of you perhaps have read the life of St. Augustine, his confessions, and you see how the work of grace is coming, but he's, he's just not willing to give up serious sin, uh, even though he's trying to take steps towards our Lord. And then finally the moment comes when he leaves that for good, and in his case goes on to become a great saint. Those moments really happen uh, where, where in the beautiful moments when someone uh, finally uh, from a life uh, sometimes really steeped in sin, in serious sin, turns away from that and it's an incredible grace. And many other cases are, are seemingly much smaller but also crucial. You know, the, the person who's um, struggling in different areas or wanting to take steps closer to, to our Lord and those brief exchanges, those couple, just a few minutes, it's often very brief, the confession where they're presenting their sins, have the chance to pray for the person and asking God through Our Lady's intercession to pour out His graces and then saying a few words. And that's something where I feel very much dependent on God's grace and would ask for your prayers because any priest, you realize you only have a very small span of time and you can't, you're not supposed to outside of confession, talk about, even with that person, you're not supposed to talk about their sins. You, you keep that a secret. So it's the only moment you have to address their soul. And there's many things you could say, but you have to pick, okay, what am I gonna say in just this one minute? Do they need encouragement? Do they need, on the contrary, to realize more the seriousness of their sin? Do they need uh, a particular advice in how to, to turn away? There's a, they need to adopt maybe some fasting or a certain prayer or read a book or what they really need is hope and encouragement. All these different things are possible, but you only have a brief window of time. And so, so I'm very grateful for your prayers because it, that many times, sometimes the priest says something which he didn't even realize was going to be helpful. He didn't think of it, but in fact, that was... God knew that was the word he needed to say that was very helpful for the person in the confessional. It turned out to be just what they needed. And so there's that beautiful work of confession. And, and even on things that seemingly are much smaller, the person who maybe, uh, maybe is losing their patience regularly and they're trying to, to, to gain control of being more patient in their family life or uh, other things like that, the, the regular washing of the soul in God's grace, the, the, the ability, the privilege as a priest to be there and be the instrument where God can wash the soul with His grace regularly is what can make a huge difference in the person on the one hand, not falling into worse sins, but on the positive and uh, taking steps to grow in holiness because their soul is more and more docile to God's grace and that has a ripple effect in their family life or a ripple effect in them choosing their vocation, or so many other graces. And so confession is one of many things that's like the, the tiny mustard seed, which really nobody sees in the world, and yet in time can bear tremendous fruit in this great tree of holiness or the life of grace in someone's soul. There are many other aspects of the mustard seed, uh, and I want to encourage you all in your own life. Sometimes Catholics can feel discouraged because they can't do something that seems great in the world's eyes. But on the contrary, the, the most important things usually are the very hidden things, that forgiveness of someone once again, or uh, biting our tongue in a certain situation, or being faithful to prayer, or so many other small things is what Our Lady uses to triumph, to crush the head of the enemy. And so I want to thank you for all that you've done in this last year, because very soon we'll be entering into Advent, which is the, the beginning of the church's year. And uh, this is also in the United States, the Feast of Thanksgiving this week. So I wanted to dedicate this Sunday 
sermon to thanking you, really thanking you. My, my whole priesthood in, in many ways is made possible above all by your prayers and sacrifices, but also very concretely through your support. So thank you so much for that. And may God grant you joy on this day and a blessed week. And I'll look forward to praying the Holy Rosary with you tomorrow. God bless you.